New at six is this story. For the second time this summer, a man has died at Splash Kingdom Water Park in Canton. The most recent tragedy happened yesterday. And tonight, 19-year-old has been identified as Emmanuel Ogunfua, a former UT Tyler student. KDK's Annalise Kobo right now is there at the water park to explain to us what happened. Annalise. Neil, it was a typical weekend here at Splash Kingdom. The park was full of families having a good time, enjoying a day in the sun, enjoying the water. But that all changed around 5 o'clock in the evening on Sunday when they received a call from, I'm sorry, when someone from inside the park called 911 and let them know that there was a 19-year-old man inside the park that was having a medical emergency. Splash Kingdom staff and park goers tried to save Ogunfua, but he did not survive. The Canton Police and fire departments are releasing very little information about the death. They're not even confirming to us whether it was a drowning or something else. And it's not the first time someone has died at the Canton location. About a year ago, a former Marine was enjoying a day here with his family. His wife says his heart stopped not too long after he slipped on one of the rides. She attributes his death to that fall. Although it's unclear how Ogunfuwa died, one park visitor who didn't want to be named tells us she felt that some of the lifeguards on duty that day were not play, paying close enough attention. Any lifeguard in my experience you should be I mean they're always watching period I mean in any in any location I've ever been in and it just wasn't that way yesterday and I don't know and I can't it wasn't all of them there were areas where they were watching and you were okay with it and it wasn't a big deal but some of the bigger ones the bigger slides or stuff, it just seemed like they just, it was habit, it was nothing's gonna, you know, and they were kind of just dazed out. Last Thursday, a 13-year-old boy drowned at the Splash Kingdom location in Shreveport. Tonight on KETK News at 10, I'll have more information about what happened here on Sunday as well as the park's response to this death. Live in Canton, Annalise Coble, KETK News.